Welcome to our new web series called TRP Pro Tips. I'm Tom, I'm a local wedding photographer in the state of New Jersey. Each week I'm gonna be releasing interviews that I have done with local vendors in the area uh, to cater towards your wedding planning needs. There'll be people from all different aspects of your wedding day. There'll be people who are involved in the hair and makeup industry, in the DJs industry, photo, video, limo services, boutiques, stationery, you name it. We have contacted those people to give you the best kind of content and insight to planning for your wedding day. So our first episode today, we are uh, here with Leanne Magrone. She is from Beauty FX Makeup, and she's going to let you guys know all about these amazing tricks and tips to planning for makeup for your wedding day. So welcome, Leanne. How are you? Uh, thank you so much for having me. Yes, yeah, so excited. Something to do. Give us a little creative, uh, you know, field here that we so need right now. So, okay. So introduce yourself. Tell me about uh, your company and what you guys do and how you started and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, yes, my name is Leanne McGrone, as you said. Um, my company is Beauty FX. Um, we, an, we are an on-location uh, beauty service, so we do uh, makeup and hair. So it's with my company, if you need a team that's with both artists, with hair and makeup, you it's a one-stop shop because um, you can either just book myself, uh, the owner, or I bring a glam squad with me as well. Um, I've been in the industry since I was 16, so I've been uh, an assistant. Uh, I'm, I'm a fully licensed hairstylist, so um, I started out like that. And then recently in the past, like, uh, maybe the past five years, I decided to go the wedding route because I just, I just love being part of that whole experience. There's so many creative uh, avenues you can go through with being in the wedding industry. So uh, 2015, I just, um, I made myself an LLC and I've just been pushing myself along ever since. So it's really been great making, you know, connections along the way. So I hope I can help with anybody in the future right now. Awesome. Awesome to hear. Okay. So if a bride is doing some research on the makeup artist for her wedding day, what are some things she must look for? <clears throat> if she's looking for some a makeup artist right now, you want to just make sure that she will travel to you. Um, you know, if, if she's willing to travel and how far, uh, you, you just want to give her as much information that you know, like how many people she's going to be doing. Cause then she knows like, okay, I have to bring an assistant you know, things like that. Um, also, take a look at their work. Um, social media is great. Take a look at their Instagrams, you know, really look at if, if that's going to fit what you desire. You know, if you're more of a boho type of natural bride, you might not want to go for someone who's doing like full on glam uh, looks, you know, not saying that that artist can accomplish that, but you might just want to ask her like, hey, I noticed your profile has a lot of glamour looks, but can you also do this? That way, I'm sure she can and do it, you know, and she'd probably love to, you know, something different. Right, right, right. Yeah, I've, I've, I've always seen these, there's all different types of people out there. So that's really good to, to know that, you know, bride, makeup artists can do kind of a little bit of everything. That's, that's, that's awesome. Okay, so what's the average price for a makeup artist normally? For like a um, normal average makeup? price is going to be usually $100. That's usually the average. Um, a low, you can find, you can find like, maybe a $75 price point, but I feel like they would work with you maybe on that if they were doing like a lot of people, you know, cause you have to keep right. in mind, like we, we get paid per, per gig. So it has to be worth the travel and everything like that. So I feel like 75 to hundred is average. Anything more than that, they're probably really experienced. So, I mean, don't, this is something you don't want to cheap on. Right. Like this, your, this is your look. You want somebody who's experienced and knows what they're doing. Um, so don't be, I, I always tell my brides, like, this is something you shouldn't want to cheap out on at all. Nope. Awesome. So now is that hundred dollars per, per girl or is it all together? That's usually per girl. That's okay. usually per girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So if a bride is on a budget, uh, what are some things that she can do that would keep her costs down if she's kind of like really wants to work with you, but you know, you're a little out of her price range. What are some things that she can do to hire your company that keeps her costs down? Honestly, so I get that question a lot. And sometimes even when they just say that, um, you know, then I go back and I see, okay, how far am I traveling? You know, how can I, how can I work this around? Um, for me, I really do try to keep it to a minimum of four people that get the work. So say if she's coming to me and there's only two people getting done, 
-hmm. then it's like, hey, well, ask someone else to come into that group. So I at least get the four people. And then I can like, usually I'll bundle it a little bit. Like I'll, I'll, I'll knock off a little of like the travel fee or I'll, I'll wave it all together. Cause then it's just me traveling. I'm not, I'm not outsourcing my team. So I feel like just having that open uh, conversation with the stylist, mm -hmm. she'll be more obliged to look into how to help you. Cause we're, we're all just here to help and uh, you know, make your day special. So don't be afraid to ask. Awesome. So basically if, if the more, the more girls that they have, the cheaper it tends to get. And in, in some, some, some yes, artists like to do that because, you know, and then, yeah, just, just say that, you know what, I can give you eight people. I just, I'm trying, I love your work right. and she'll try to look into how she can uh, help you out. Awesome. So what's the best type of makeup, um, on, uh, the bride's wedding day? What, what would you recommend? It's like the, the Ooh, best. Type? I love this question. Okay. So I was thinking <laughs> this one a lot. Like there's so many brands, there's so many, you know, there's so, so many. So my thing is, it doesn't matter the brand, as long as you get, you want, you want fuller coverage that day. Like a lot of brides are more natural. They don't wear makeup every day. I mean, that's, that's totally fine. But right. just remember the day of your wedding, it's about the photography, the videography, videos, it, everything is captured differently. So you want whatever makeup that goes through, I know a lot of girls are like maybe airbrush or what have you. And that's fine. You can go that route too. If you really want to feel extra, um, mm -hmm. you know, covered for that day, but you just want a makeup line that she, that's going to be medium to full coverage. Doesn't matter the line, unless you have allergies, you know, which your makeup artist will ask you, you know, that's, that's, that's what you want to look for. It doesn't matter the brand. You just want to make yourself look flawless for those pictures. Awesome. Um, okay, so next one kind of ties into that. Um, so what uh, do you recommend hiring a makeup team or just one person when you get the makeup? Um, well, this is also comes down to one of my questionnaire questions that I send out is I always like to know the time to be ready by. And then that goes back to you, Tom, because then I like to know from the photographer mm -hmm. when um, you guys want them to be ready because their ceremony might be at like four o'clock, but you may want them done at two. Right. So meaning the girls and the size of the party, what time do they have to be ready? So if you have 15 girls and you guys want to get ready at eight o'clock, you might want right. to, you might want to make sure that there's someone else. And usually that we're, we're all friends in the industry. We usually always have someone that comes with, I have assistants that come with me. Right. Um, I usually, one solo artist can usually handle six to seven. Again, it's on the timing. If they have to all be ready in two hours, yeah, you're, you're going to want to have a team. It all depends on the time you have to be ready by. So make sure that you're kind of aware of like what that time would be when, when moving forward to hiring your makeup artist. And that's, and that's true, ladies. You, you want to make sure that before you go to your makeup artist, um, you want to make sure you chime in with your photographer to kind of get your timeline down for the morning, yeah. for the day, because most of the time they're going to ask you what time does your photographer want you ready because that will determine how your photos run and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. so speaking of that, what's the good time, I guess you can say, quote unquote, to get start getting your hair and makeup or your hair and makeup done in general? Like, what's a good time to start? To say the ceremony is at like two or even four. Okay, I, I recommend so, in, uh, on average, we usually start um, 8 a.m. That's usually like an average start. We're usually there around 7 30 to set up because, mm -hmm. mind you, we have to get there, make sure we find you, right? Park. And then we also have to set up. So sometimes, you know, you know, cause they don't, brides don't do this every week and we do. So we know we need that extra like 15 minutes to maybe like adjust the room, you know, find the natural lighting, whatever, and set up. So we need like 15 minutes or 20 minutes just to get settled in. Okay. And then that eight o'clock out, like, okay, someone's in the chair and we move along. Okay, awesome. And now I've, I've come across where some brides like they they don't really want to start that early. So what would you what would be like a tip if like so if they're saying listen, we don't want to start that early, but our summer is at two o'clock. Right, suggest right. That? So this is when it comes into then you're going to be hiring or outsourcing other artists. So with my company, mm -hmm. um, I do charge per assistant. So it's like, no problem. We can start at 11 o'clock if you want, but you have to pay a fee for each that because it's, you know, I'm outsourcing. I'm doing the work for, for the bride. Right. I'm making sure that you're going to have five artists there guaranteed. You guys can, we can start at 12 o'clock. I'll bring six artists with me, but you're, you'll have to pay for that convenience. Doing an on-location service is 
a luxury because we all come to you. So unfortunately, there are some times with fees with that as well. So make sure that you ask that as well. Some, some don't, some bundle it in. But if you're wondering why sometimes the price point might be a little higher, it's because all those, all those fees are just bundled right into it. So it might be 125 per girl but that probably bundles in the travel and, and also like being just multiple people. So that, uh, that answers your question, you know? <laughs> awesome. Okay. So tell me about the best experience you've ever had working with a bride. What is like one of the most memorable makeup artistry things you've done with a bride? Oh, uh, they're all, they're all great. They just always feel so, they're so humbled and they feel so good, you know, and that's the whole reason why we do what we do. We, we really want you to have a great day and we, and the makeup and hair artist team, like we're, we really do want you to feel great. So when, when they're happy, honestly, truly, we are happy. Like, can't wait. I'm so excited to get back to professional pictures when they're done. Like, I can't wait. And just like the transformation, like it's like the whole part, like the hair, the makeup, and then they see it too. They finally get, they put their dress on with the, with their makeup and they see it all come to life. It really is like a nice, it's a magical experience that, you, you know, we get to be a part of for a little bit with them. So it's, it's always, always nice. I feel that one time I had a bride who was like, literally she was crying once her makeup was done because she didn't expect herself to look so good. <laughs> and I just feel like some of those moments you just, you just can't get those back. And we live for that in the yeah. industry. We love those types of moments. And yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so if you had any other advice to give a bride um, when she's shopping or researching for her makeup artist, what would it be? Um, I would, one, make sure you like her work or his work. Um, two, see, make sure they travel. Um, and also just don't be afraid to ever have open, an open conversation about, with them about any, any of your concerns. Just, just, they're, they're people just like me and you, and they want to be, we want to be here for you and make you look good. So just don't be afraid to ask anything. And if, if there's a price point on there that you're not sure of, don't just write it off. Ask, ask them about it and, and ask them why that is how it is. And it will, you know, either they can tell you more about it or they'll be like, oh, you don't even need that fee because you only have four people, you know? So don't, don't write an artist off if, if a price tag, hang, uh, you know, might steer you the wrong way. Just ask them about it. Good no time. problem. Okay, one final question for you. So where can everyone find you? Um, what's your social media, contact information, website, all that fun stuff? Fabulous. Okay, you can find me at beautyfxmakeup.com. I have a, um, a brief, you know, you know, website on there, just the basics. Um, my Instagram is the most up-to-date, you know, works and things like that. So that is um, at beautyfx by Leanne. Um, and you'll see all the uh, photo shoots I've done, the style shoots, all the weddings and things like that. You, and you can contact me through beautyfxmakeup at gmail.com or you can hit me on the cell phone at 609-437-8986 and I'm your girl. Awesome, Leanne. Thank you so much for the interview and I appreciate your time. No, no problem, Tom. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you, when you, do you like, so do you have a team that works specifically for you or do you have like, um, uh, more or less like people that like you say, Hey, I have a wedding today. I need five other girls to come and do it with me. Here's my five that I'm going to pull from kind of a deal. Right. Right. I, it's, it's, it's a little bit of both because okay. I have a, a group of four girls that are like my go-tos, right. but we are all independent freelancers. They can work for whoever they want to work for, right. but I try to make sure that they are paid well for their travel and things like, that. like, you know, I try to always make sure that if they do get offered other jobs, like they're saying yes to, to me because, you know, cause they're like, Oh no, Leanne's going to make sure I get paid like two days before. Like I'll go there. Like, She'll make sure, like I'm, and and I like their work. I don't just pick people out of like the blue. Right. I want to make like it's my name that's on it. So I also work for another company, Top Knots by Amy. So her and I always are like doing weddings together. Like right. we're just there's plenty of brides out there. That's how there's plenty of heads out so there. So many people out there's there. There's so many people. It's, it's crazy because I joined a a course about a year ago, and I was. I was just starting like to get my foot in the door with doing it on my own instead of working for studios and stuff like that. And so you don't realize how many people are getting married 
in, yep. in, my, in your tries, even in your state, in your area. Like there's tens of thousands yep. of brides that are just like looking for people like us who don't know we exist because either they have a friend who's going to do it for really cheap, which is, yes. one, right, which is one of my things that kind of like, if, I always say, if you're going to do it, do it right, right? Hire the professionals that do it full time, know what they're doing because you're going to get, you're supposed to get married once in life, right? Yeah, this, this, this is like, this is your investment, like hair and makeup, that's your investment in how you're going to look like right. for these right. pictures. Right. And you don't want your pictures to look like crap. Uh, I, <laughs> you, I do, you know, don't, don't skimp out on certain areas. Like what, yeah. skimp out hair and makeup, yeah. photography, videography, if you decide to go with it, DJ and the venue. Everything else, yeah. if you want to go a little cheaper on, no big deal. Because it's only happening you know, a little bit. Yeah. Longer. Yeah, because right. this, is, this is what you're going to look back on. Because yeah. the day goes by so fast <sighs> that your head's going to spin. And you really want to make sure there's great quality photos of that right. day. Because you'll be like, oh, I didn't get to see that. I didn't get to do No, because you're so, there's so much going on already with, with just your role as a bride and a groom. Right. Like, it's, it, there's a lot. So it's, it's all important. And it's all making that right connection. Like mm -hmm. sometimes you can have a trial, right, with with anybody or meet and greet. Maybe you just don't feel their vibes. Like not I, everybody's gonna like like my energy, and that's right. totally cool. Because exactly. then maybe I don't like your energy. energy. So, so. <laughs> that's the god out of tune. It's like they don't realize that like we are we have we feel the same way sometimes about the people that we meet too. It's like yeah. you know we meet with tons of people all the time, whether it's in person, whether it's over the phone, whether it's over Skype, Zoom, whatever it is. We may think, you know, you're the best client or vice versa. We may not click. And, you know, if you decide to work with us, we're going to obviously make it the best we possibly that's can. Cool. And that's totally fine. Like when I, when I do trials as well, I'm always mm -hmm. like, I'm always like, listen, I will hold your date verbally for a week. Right. Right. You don't have to sign anything now. Like you have time. I always say, talk to the peanut gallery, yes. go show your friends, go to your mom's, like, go like d wear it a little bit. You're not going right. to, and then you can critique my work. Come right. back to say, you know, I love everything. Didn't like this. And I was like, that's what a trial is for. It's. More. I always just put it all on the table. Like this is a platform from open communication. Like right. I am here to work for you. You tell me what you want. I'll give it to you. Like that's easy. Right. You're not and gonna hurt my feelings at and all. That's awesome. Do you know? Do you guys charge for? Do makeup artists charge for trial runs usually? They do. Yes, they usually do. Some. Some might. Bu some might bundle that into like right. if they uh, like my trial fee is totally separate. Right. Because if you don't book me, like, right, you're like, gonna, yeah. like, yeah, but I can't, I can't spend two. Sometimes the trials, honestly, are more work. Right. So you yeah. have, you have to make some, you, you have to make something for your time. You know, like you spend two, three hours or something, hoping that they book you, and you don't. You're like, well, well, that's whatever. I've been yeah. doing, and I've been doing this too long to like to be too free. Absolutely, 100. <laughs> I, I, I agree. At certain points. You know, people are like, oh, well, the trial run's like $200. But yeah, but think about like what you're doing in the trial run. She's trying out all the makeup. He's trying out all the makeup on you. And you're, you're, you're trying to figure out the best look for you and for your wedding day. And I think that's yeah. just a lot of misinformation that some people just don't quite grasp if they're not involved in the industry or they're not, they don't know people in the industry. Yes. Or they're not familiar with, you know, the type of stuff that we do is that it takes time on the back end to kind of yeah. get everything prepared for the wedding day. And yeah. I think that, that a lot of brides you know, that's a lot of information that they sometimes don't know and they don't think to know. And, that, and that's okay that they, that they don't know. That's why I say, don't be afraid to ask them, like, why is that like that? Like, and then we'll be like, oh, because I have to do da, 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 da. Like, and they'll be like, oh, that makes sense. Like, they're not going to understand. And I just, the most important thing that I hope that the brides get out of it is definitely to, to correspond with your photographer about the time they say you should be ready. Like, yes, you're going to come in and do your detail shots first, but I never, I always like to do my bride probably almost like in the middle. Yeah. I don't yeah. like doing her dead last because she gets, that gives me anxiety and her anxiety. I don't want the photographer coming in and they're clicking away and she's like, I don't have Right. Make up exactly. Like it should be pretend that you're getting ready. Like I like everybody Catch pretty up. much done. I like agree. they're good to go. They're relaxed. Like, okay, they're taking pictures now. And it is, so it is, that's why, that's why you have to start early sometimes. If you right. have a big party, like, sorry, don't drink. I'm always like, don't drink too much the night before. Like, yeah, right. Cause I need to get we, will, early. we will be there at 7.30 knocking on your door. Knocking so. on your door. And then that's so true. We, you know, and it's funny because when I talk to brides, you know, I always say, you know, this is the time I want to start with you. If your makeup artist and hair are just running behind for whatever reason, it's totally okay. We'll work around it. And 
that kind of usually eases yeah. their mind. I think that's what yeah. they're, they're so worried about the schedule of the day that I think that a lot yeah. of times that they they forget that we can communicate. You know, and I and we say, hey, listen, I'm running a few minutes behind. No big deal. We'll work on something else. But no, you you make it work. You take right. pictures of your details and right. You know, and I feel like too, like Brad shouldn't focus so much on a schedule. Like, yes. like they always are like, oh, Sarah's going to go to the chair and this time, this time. I was like, it doesn't, like, you can try to make yourself cross-eyed like that all you want, right. but That's it's right. musical That's chairs. Right. As soon as a chair opens, someone's got to be in it. So I always, I always tell my brides, I'm starting at eight o'clock. I have two girls. That means I can take two girls at eight o'clock. That does not mean 15 girls need to be in the room. Right. But, right. you know, right. so you can have the other half come at like 11 o'clock, but give me like four girls that are going to fluctuate between eight and nine o'clock. Like, yeah, right. you know what I mean? It's, or if mom's an early riser. So it's like those things that they just don't know. I'm like, yeah, your girls don't have to be there at seven o'clock. We can't start you all at seven o'clock. So like, right. like, you know, unless they want to be. Right, exactly. Yeah, because one time I showed up to a to a, a salon the morning of a wedding at eight a.m. and they told me she was like, "Get there at eight a.m." and no one was ready to go. So I sat around for now. But the and thing I, that really pushes an earlier start time for a hair and makeup artist if they're doing a first look. Yes. So that right. always that's why I'm always like, "Are you doing a first look?" Because then that will at least change her time that she has to be ready because you may want her dressed by 11 30 because that's going to take 25 minutes Easily. you know to take your pictures at 12 because if ceremony starts at two because you got to go back and take the robe pictures with the friends or whatever okay. so yeah it's a, it's a lot of time thank you so much for doing this i appreciate it thank this you. Awesome. yeah bother me anytime